everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io, and today we're building a dad joke generator. So my son recently turned one, so I figure time to level up my dad jokes and build a dad joke generator. So here's the app we're going to be building. It just starts off saying by click the button, generate a joke, then click generate. What did the buffalo say to his little boy when he dropped him off at school? Bye, son. Um, so they're just like terrible puns. Um, I just have an array of these dad jokes that I've kind of gathered around from the internet. Um, I shoved them into a file here. Um, I'm also gonna use Create React App. If you haven't used this before, um, you can go to https github.com slash Facebook incubator slash Create React App. Um, and it's a way to kind of bootstrap a React project instantaneously. So just run npm install dash g, Create React App. Then all you have to say is Create React App, the name of your app, it creates a directory for you with all the code you need to get started and don't need to configure webpack or anything it's pretty awesome so that's what we're going to be using today so let me go ahead and kill this server here there we go so let's create our project create react app call it dad jokes so that'll install everything we need all right looks like it's done installing so if we list the directories there we go dad jokes our project cd into that and now we can run actually let's open up adam check out what we got all right we got adam open so let's go to source you'll see what we have here so in source, let's go ahead and create a new file. We'll call it, uh, oops, let's see here. There we go. Dadjokes.json. So I'm just gonna paste in what I got, save you some time, it's take me forever to type it. So if you see here, uh, it's just a normal JSON format um, with only one uh, item in there, one field called jokes, which is an array. And then it has all these jokes that I found on the internet. Um, space them in, like there's one, what do you call Jay-Z when he's sleeping? Jay-Z's, so stupid. Um, so we got that, we got our dad jokes. Um, in index, let's see, I just added this one line. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not index. Let me add it to index.html here. So just to load in uh, Font Awesome, I got some stuff I'm gonna throw in there. Spice this up a little bit. So now if we go to app.js, so this is kind of the entry point for our application. Um, if we start this up now, let me go npm start. See the page refresh. So this is the default uh, web page you get with Create React app. Um, so it tells you edit source slash app.js, save and reload. Um, so that's what we currently have. We need to change that up a little bit. So what we will do is, let me go ahead and add some stuff in here. We get some of this functionality. So I don't think we need the app intro here actually. Let's see, let's get rid of this image, change this to an H1 or a title, call it dad joke generator. Close that tag. Perfect. Um, now we need our button here. When we click on it, it'll generate the joke. So we'll say uh, generate slash button. Perfect. And then let's see, class name, app intro. This will be nothing for now. So it's coming along, it's kind of ugly, um, but that's okay. We got some style sheets to drop in there. Um, I have the styles already. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time. So I'm just gonna paste these in over top. Not a ton to change, but you'll see um, center lining some text, I set a background color. Um, you have some basic height, 
kind of left the app header stuff in there. Um, then the H1 tag uh, for our button, I just kind of do a reset. I drop the border box shadow. Um, I get rid of the outline when there's a focus, kind of that blue hover. Um, and then this is some stuff for, I just put my like name at the bottom with like a little link, which we haven't added yet. So I'll probably go back over to app.js and add that in. Let me do that. So we got app.js right after the P tag for paragraph. And in small, come back over. So it's looking pretty good, right? So we have a uh, little link down there. We got data joke generator, the colors are right. Um, now what we need to do, we need to replace this here, essentially with um, our dad joke component, which will render render them out. Um, I'll just letting this no logos in there, but we're not actually using that. So we can delete that. We can actually delete the logo, that SVG. Just delete that. Sure, move to trash. Perfect. So we're getting pretty close. So I like to create a new directory here called components. And we'll create a new file. We'll call it um, dadjoke.css. And we'll create a new file, dadjoke.jsx. Perfect. So I'm just going to copy with the style for I have for the joke. Not a lot to it. Um, it's just showing the white background. We're displaying inline block. And we're going to a little padding to it. So it's not right on top and then we're round out the corners. There's nothing crazy going on there. So in dad joke JSS, so we have to import react from react. It's a must. Uh, let me change this to JavaScript. So it gives us some highlighting. There we go. Um, now let's import our styles. So for this one, we'll have a dad joke dot CSS. And now we want to export default. This is the only thing coming out of here. We'll say class dad joke extends react dot uh, component. Perfect. And then what we want to do is we want to render and say we're going to return. Um, and we will do a div of the class. So it's called class and name, not class, because um, class is a um, HTML keyword. So we want in our JavaScript and our um, JSX and our uh, CSS excuse me, HTML, kind of getting mixed up. So we have to use a different word. So it's called class name instead of class. Um, but it does the same thing. So class of joke, which is what we created a style for earlier. Slash div, close it out. And in between, we're gonna do this.props.joke. So we need to pass a joke in there. So if you look over here, that's gonna happen because we didn't import it yet. So. <laughs> um, so now we have that, it'll actually render the joke. So now we need to add the component to app.js. Um, we probably need a function to generate the joke, right? I guess we could render it in, we just have no joke. Um, so up here, oops. Come on. There we go. Um, let's import first our jokes from slash dad jokes dot JSON. So it was all the joke file that we had the big giant um, array of jokes. And then we want to import our component dad joke from components slash dad joke dot JSX. So now we have access to that component. So let's come in here. Let's add a constructor. Constructor. And we'll pass in props. Those are the properties. And we'll call, since we extended component, we need to pass those props to 
super. Um, I believe we do. Um, if not, somebody correct me, but I believe that's right. Then we'll say this dot state. We'll set the initial state of the app, and we'll say joke. The current joke we'll start off with. We'll say is click the button to generate the joke. Perfect. So now we set our initial state. Now we need a function to actually generate the joke. So when we click on the generate button, it needs to randomly select from a joke um, in the jokes array. So let's call it generate joke. And here we'll say let joke equal jokes. And we're going to select from the jokes array. So we're going to do a little math here um, to randomly select um, a number or a position in the array. So we'll say math.floor. So we want to pick, because we're going to get some weird fraction when we hit this, but we want to actually um, make it an even number, right? So we'll say round off or round down, essentially. That's what floor does. And then we'll say math.random and math.random gives you a random number between zero and like 0 0.99999 um, in between zero and one not including one. So then you got to multiply it by the length, the joke's uh, length. That way it'll randomly pick one within there. So that looks good. So now we have our joke. Now we need to update the state to the current joke. So say this dot set state and we'll set the joke to the joke we just created. Perfect. Now if we come down in here to where that app intro was originally created for us. We can just replace this. So we'll say dad joke. This is a dad joke component. We're going to pass in a property. Um, we're going to set the joke equal to say this dot state dot joke. And then we'll self close that component. So now that component's going to render, it's going to pass in the joke from here that we set in the state, which is going to be this initially. And then we need to wire up the click function on it. We should have at least this setting up. So now when we click generate, nothing happens. But at least we have the initial state set. So we're in good shape. So now all we need to do is our button for our generate. We need to call on click equals. And let's go, let's see here. So we'll get pass an anonymous function here. So this dot generate joke dot bind this. And that should do it, I believe here. So now if I click on this, oh, can I read property bind of undefined? Maybe I don't actually need it then. Let me see there. Yep, so we don't actually need that. Um, Perfect, so now we're generating jokes on every click. So if you have any questions, comments, um, or if you're a React uh, aficionado, I know someone left me a comment and said, uh, it's best to end the files in JSX so your linter um, or IDE knows that it's a JSX file. Um, so those are great tips and great to share with everybody. So please let me know. Uh, also please like or subscribe. Uh, it helps other people find these videos. And please, please, if you guys have any questions or want me to do particular tutorials, leave a comment below. Love to hear your feedback. Thanks, guys. Take care.